Hey everybody, this is Bud with uh, Mental Game Mechanics, and I'm excited today to talk to you about something that's really kind of been on my mind, uh, especially the last few years. Um, have you ever noticed that when you decide to take on an opportunity with, uh, let's say, a friend or a mentor or you know somebody somebody in your life that says, "Hey, I'm doing this. Can you help me?" or "Hey, I'm doing X Y Z. Would you be interested in you know joining up with me and, and doing this?" or you know there's there's these new opportunities that come to you but you've already you know you've already made a decision that hey I'm going to do this but then all these distractions kind of come into play and it's it's kind of the universe's way of of coming to you and saying hey are you really committed to what you're doing there it's it's fascinating right the last couple of years for me I've I've really kind of struggled with this um, I'm naturally a person that makes quicker you know snappier decisions I don't necessarily think about things too much, um, you know, to my own detriment. Uh, I'm I'm the type of person that if you know if you, if you if you take it or know what the disc uh, the disc is, uh, you know that there's a that's kind of a, a, a personality test. I'm a D, which is kind of like a person that just makes you know a lot of decisions. They move quick and they you know they can oftentimes move too quick. And so you know that being said. <laughs> my wife has gotten frustrated with me a lot of times because, you know, here I am trying to be successful, trying to build businesses, trying to, you know, grow a company or you know, do these things. And this person calls me and says, hey, there's this new thing I'm doing. You, are you interested? Would you want to help? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it, you know. Or, hey, uh, could you come help me with XYZ? Shouldn't take too much of your time. You know, four hours later, you know, I, I'm I'm running home late or, you know, whatever, right? And I say yes to all these things without, you know, any kind of filter. Um, and, you know, now that I'm a dad, everything really just seems different. Um, meaning there's a there's this stress, this it's a good stress, a stress that's like pulling me towards this going all in concept, right? Uh, it's, it's kind of like, Hey, you have a family now and it's time for you to provide for them. But now I recognize how valuable time really is because time with my daughter, time with my family is, is very important. It's really sacred, honestly. And if I'm saying yes to all these things, I have a hard time giving up on those things. And so if I'm going to build a business and be an entrepreneur, I have to commit to taking that path, right? And there has to be some sacrifices there. But if I'm saying yes to everything that comes my way, there's no way I can build that one thing. As, as entrepreneurs, I think that we are very hopeful people. Entrepreneurs, business people in general, you know, people that lead the pack, so to speak. People that go out in front and, you know, kind of take the spear and, and run at the, run at the battle, right? They're, they're, they're optimistic people. They're, they're ready to do whatever it takes to, to change the world. And I think because of that, it can sometimes be to our own detriment because we say yes so fast that we don't realize that it might not actually fit in with, with what our goals might be. Or, you know, we want to influence and impact the world. And yet, impact only comes when you have focus on that thing. And if I've said yes to this and this and this and this, all of a sudden, I can't focus in on that one thing because I've got my focus in four or five different places, right? And so that's, you know, that's really the balance that, you know, I've been trying to find is how do I, how do I go all in and stay all in on that one thing? And there's a, a little while back that I was, I was talking to my friend um, because at, at this point I was, you know, I was saying yes to a lot of things and I had all these different opportunities that were in front of me and I met some really cool, fascinating uh, and, and influential people. And it's like, okay, hey, hey, let's go down this path or let's go down this path. And I had these different ways of uh, different opportunities that I could take. And I wasn't sure exactly what, you know, what was it for me? What am I going to do? What I'm doing now obviously isn't working. I haven't gotten the results that I'm looking for. You know, I got to go all in on something. And I was texting back and forth with my buddy and he says, he said to me, tell the universe what you want and go all in. Now, you know, 
obviously I'd kind of heard that before in, in other contexts, right? I had heard it from all, all different kinds of sources that, hey, you got to go all in. You got to, you know, focus on your thing. And it never really hit me until that point. Tell the universe what you want and go all in because opportunities, his point was that opportunities will come and it'll be the right opportunities because you've said, this is what I'm doing and I'm going all in. And I realized at that moment that it takes focus on that one thing, whatever it is that I'm going to do, that's my focus. That's what I'm going to commit to. So, you know, I did that and that's why I'm here right now is I'm here to help entrepreneurs and business people grow and impact businesses, their families, and their mindsets so that they can get better results in all the different aspects of their lives. And so, you know, that's where I'm at now is I'm here to to help, here to, you know, provide value to people. And um, I'm working on building a seven-figure business. That's that's what I want. That's what I'm going to do. And, you know, as, as I've started this, I've had several different kind of things come my way. And I've had to really sometimes push things off to the back burner just a little bit, right? Or say no completely. And it's been great because now all of a sudden I'm looking at things through the lens of here's what I'm focused on. This is what I'm doing. So as something comes to me, I can look at that and go, okay, here's what this looks like. Does this fit in with what I'm doing? Now, what that does is it requires me to have two thoughts in mind, right? I have both short-term and long-term, and I've, I've done another video about this, but we have to have a balance of, hey, this is short-term thinking and this is long-term thinking. Here's the long-term vision of what I want. And that needs to pull us at the micro level, at the, at the small levels of, you know, hey, here's this opportunity, this short-term thought, short-term process, boom, is this going to help? No, it's not. Sorry, no. Or, hey, here's this. Here's what it said. Here's here's the opportunity. Does it fit in with what I'm doing? Is it going to help? Yes or no? Ah, ah, actually, yeah, that one is going to help me. Let's do that, right? And so having some type of filter, having some type of way to think about things and say, hey, this is what I'm doing and I'm all in. Now, as those new opportunities come to me, I can look at it and go, yes or no? Is that going to help my long-term vision? Is that going to help my long-term business growth? I'm no longer saying yes to everything. I'm not saying no to everything either, but I'm saying yes selectively. I'm looking at something, giving it a the, the, the lens of short-term and long-term, thinking about it and letting myself say, no, nope, that's not going to actually serve me and what my mission is and what I'm trying to accomplish now. And so, you know, as I've done these things, as I've, you know, had these things come to play and I've had to kind of, nope, not going to help. Nope, not going to help. It's, it's really honestly quite liberating because <laughs> like I said, I've been the person that has said yes to so many things that I feel so scattered and so across the board frustrated because I don't have time to push this one forward and this one forward and this one forward. But now I have this that I'm doing and this is going to help me get to where I want to go. And if this new opportunity comes into play, now I can look at it through my, through my filter and go, yes, that's going to help or no, it's not. And now the answers are easy and it's simple and it's freeing. It's liberating, right? I feel less stress. I don't have to, you know, I feel much more focused and I'm way more productive because I can actually dive in on this and push this forward rather than dive in on this, push a little bit, dive in on this, push in a little bit, dive in on this, push it a little bit. Now I'm all in the, on this one thing and I'm actually making progress happen. And, uh, you know, It's allowing me to focus on the things that need to be focused on, not only in the business, but in my family and in everything else, because I don't have a thousand other things that I'm worried about. I just have the one. I have that, and that's allowing me to have focus in other places because I'm not so spread thin. So consider, as you have new opportunities come your way, what's your filter? How are you going to say yes or no? What is it that's pushing you forward? What is it that, what is the one thing that you're you're going all in on? And as these new opportunities opportunities come into play, consider is it a yes or no answer, based on your long term strategy, based on your long term goals, and you know be willing to say no to people. 
it's it's a lot a lot of times at least for me it's it's easier said than done but i know that if you are willing to say no to focus on something bigger than yourself the right thing will happen for you for your family for those around you so i leave you with that and hope you have an amazing day